guys, I'm the Panda Man. Welcome back to the Panda Den. Uh, we're trying out Mine Rogue. I have, I've seen it on ladder a few times. I've never played it, and I just wanted to try it out. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this. By the way, if you wait till the end of the video, you'll have a uh, deck summary and a, uh, a mulligan guide. Hope you enjoy it. What is the mulligan on this? Does anybody know? Not that. Um, actually, I could look it up. Did I find it already? I found it, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Meta. By class. Uh, rogue, mine rogue. I don't even know what, I don't know what the keep is, honestly, guys. Um, I'll keep this, I guess. Sketchy's not bad. I have zero idea what I'm supposed to keep, honestly. I have no idea. Alright, I'll just trade. Okay. Sketchy's not bad. I'll do Sketchy next turn. All right, so next turn, I've got three mana. I can, I can literally, I go uh, for second lieutenant into naval mine with coin. It feels good. Thank you for giving me a minion. I need something to trade it into, so. There's some merit to be just doing, no, I, I do this, it's fine. I don't need to get greedy. Or do I get greedy? The dead never rest. The dead I'm just gonna be greedy. I'm going for the greed. I really need uh, a snowfall graveyard. I'm gonna listen to this. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that sucks. All right, he's got 19 damage on board. I have to finish him, right? I gotta do something. I gotta survive this turn. So uh, we actually have to do this this turn. We can't. We can't pluck around. <laughs> pluck around, get it. Oh, first we go face face. Play the mine. Okay, then we go here, here, and then we go dredge. Um, extort. All right, we're live. We're alive. He's doing a lot of damage to me early. I felt bad at first, honestly. I really do feel bad, but no. We're gonna do this for free. Okay. Uh, we're gonna extort him. Crap. In turn.
I don't think that matters. I've got seven here. This is four. So that's seven. Uh, Eleven. Is this get the mine? Please get to the mine. I got the new mine. And then we just go face, go face, go face, play weapon. That's game. And that's how that works, guys. This <laughs> dick sex stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's how this work works. That's just how this works. Okay. That's the answer to that, is okay. All right. Um, it's okay. Ah, uh, that's gone. Well, no, it'll land on this, right? Because it's this is already zero. Okay, uh, yeah, just chilling. I can play this Forsaken next turn into the Gone Fishing. Am I going to be maybe lucky? We'll see. There's the Snowfall, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, this was really good. Shatter Shambler, okay. Do you want to coin it this turn? I don't, right? No, no. So let me double think a second. If I prep next turn, I play prep, this is one. I have three mana. This is one, and this is one. Yeah, that feels good. That feels like a solid turn. Okay. So we're prepping. I play this. I play this. I play this. He dies immediately. You take eight. I should have attacked first. Oops. I lost two damage there, guys. You should be at 26. I've already lost, yeah, that sucked. I lost two damage. Okay. That's fine. Uh, prep does not help me at this moment in time. I just go face, right, and ignore him? Because I don't have an answer for it right now. I mean, coin this out, that's fine. He, he's gonna ignore this, but I can trade it if he doesn't kill it, you know. If he leaves me something to trade into, and that'll help a lot. Maybe I should trade it. I got another turn. I could do this next turn. It would have been eight damage face. Like, what do you, you? You have to go face, right? There's like not really an option otherwise. Okay. Well, this dies. This doesn't, unfortunately. Um, shit. Counter blade does work. Oh, I want to do this first. Alright, so this trades and dies, gives me a big ass bodyguard. Okay. Uh I kill that. Uh trade here. No face. Just chill. <clears throat> that sucks. I mean, like, it was one time now. I feel like I could. I feel like there's something I could have done there, but I, I don't. I don't think I had an option that would have worked. That was a really good demonic assault. Are you 
Okay. There we go. All right. There are still ways to kill him. I've got plenty of lethal. He does have healing abilities, though. He is Warlock. Though, him by starting with 40 cards, uh, his hand could be just about anything. Well, that sucks, but... Hmm. Gonna trade it? I'm gonna trade the 3-2. So, like I said, he's got... Okay, he had healing. He's at 10. Okay. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm gonna kill this if I play it. Okay, 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 hang on. And we just trade here. That thing's good to me. Okay. I still have plenty of ways of, of lethaling him. I just I gotta draw them. Sorcery doesn't do shit to me for him. Uh, Wicked stab would kill him, right? Because Wicked stab is now four. He's a, yeah. So I need to do three damage, which I can do. I think. I think. Counterfeit blade would be fantastic this next turn. If I can play counterfeit blade, then I immediately hit hero power and, and end it, so it immediately pops. Yep. It's a very solid deck. That's the problem with the, with the 40 card deck, but when you put the Prince, basically you're diluting your deck. So you're not going to be playing a very uh, refined. You know there's a couple of cards on my hand here. It's catchy. And one more. <laughs> You know what that? Probably not that. I'll keep the counterfeit blade though. Another 40 card deck, okay. That's, I. this is the one of the few that I really don't understand because it, yeah, it gives you extra life, but you're really, really, really... You're diluting the hell out of your deck. To draw what you need, it gets harder. Ten extra cards really kind of... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works for him. I, I just don't think it's that a good an idea. Okay. That helps a little, I guess. Um... I think I just chill, right? I don't have anything really to do right now. I mean, I play this like turn into the smoke screen, which is fantastic. Yeah, we're good. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. That kind of sucks, but that's all right. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we'll see. There we go. That's good. That's pretty good. That's good. For 10 cards. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and backstab this just to get the card out of hand. I don't wanna burn anything. That's fine. Um, I still need a mine, guys. <laughs> Um, I 
Uh, we're gonna just use the snowfall this turn. Or do we? I think it's okay. I don't really care. Um. Oh, that dead. It's fine. Okay, okay. Let me think here. I gotta think. I, I should probably should attack there, but that's fine. Um. So next turn, I've got six mana. Uh, queued up. So this is three of that. Four, five, plus one for the mine. Yeah, that's fine, right? Because of the Shatter Shambler? Yeah, that works fine. We're still, we're still in this game. We're still in this game. Uh, this could be bad. The Connie may have screwed us. I don't think I have an answer for the Connie. Do I? Three. Well, let's see if we can get him. Okay. Well, then... Sketchy. And we just go ahead and play. Actually, do I kill this? Is it worth? I don't see him kill. Hmm. Okay. He gets to draw a car off that, unfortunately. All right, so I can play two, four, and then this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine too. Two, four, I got seven mana, so two, four, five. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna play the Lieutenant, the other Lieutenant, the Mine, which dies immediately. Triggers twice. Boom, boom. It's right here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Uh, do I wait on this? I might wait on this, right? Does he have meat lethal in me here? I don't want to kill it, right? I don't want to kill that. Well! That's fine. No, I have a reason for doing that in hindsight. Um, I could double weapon next turn? That, that's lethal, right? And then prep stab, maybe? If need be? No, it's not quite lethal. So I, but I can play weapon, attack face, push weapon, button, or push button, and stab. Do I have lethal? It's possible I have lethal. Okay, so five mana. So the problem is he didn't have enough for six to do... Um... Okay, actually, is that still lethal? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't do math anymore. Oh, that sucked. That really sucked. Okay, but he did heal me some. All right, so we're gonna just, we just do this. Okay. Yep. That's fine. It's another four. Stab is another four. That's eight. I think I hold that. Uh, I do think I have your power here. Uh, 
Um, I got a couple options next turn. We'll see if I can survive. So I can do 10 damage. So this dies uh, 4. And this dies 4. That's 8. I mean, he's got to heal. He's not, well, he's at 14. 13. 13. Okay. I mean, this is maybe the time I switch to the spawn technique. Now, if I draw, if I draw... I really think this is what I draw. I have to kill him this turn or I'm just dead. Snowfall. There we go. That's Miss Lethal. No, I didn't. I'm showing off. Oh! Alright, guys. I like this deck. I do, but I, I really think it's cancer. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed this 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 deck. I, it, it, I don't know if I like it or not. Not that it's not good. It is a very good deck. Uh, I did have some learning curve issues, some, like, some learning pains. Uh, and honestly, I think the more I play this, the, the better it is. Now, I'll give you one really good, big advantage to this deck, and the big advantage to this deck is the fact that it is incredibly fast. So you, your game is over, you know, maybe maybe by turn 12, possibly by turn 6 even. So uh, you either lose, you win, you know real quick. If you do, then you just move on to the next game. So it's a good climbing deck. Now, the percentage win rate on statistics for HS replay is showing at about a 52% win rate. Uh, I've, I've seen this play, this variant, that's a, that's not this variant. I couldn't find this variant in HS replay stats. I haven't seen this variant played, though, at High Legend. And I mean, like, High Legend, we talked to on top 200. Uh, and it, the, the new variant basically is, is adding in the Burning Blade Acolyte. Now, of course, the Burning Blade Acolyte is, is a good card. It is. You can play it, and you can extort it, you can uh, backstab it, whatever you want to do when it first comes into play. Or, of course, you can also just Shatter Shambler into the Burning Blade Acolyte, because Shadow Shambler, obviously, it reduces the cost of the next death rattle you play, period. Not the, not the same one, not the next one this turn, but the next one, period, by one. And if you have a, uh, a Snowfall Graveyard, which is basically what this deck is actually centered around, if you have a Snowfall Graveyard, and the Burning Blade Acolyte basically gives you two, five, eight taunts, which is disgusting. Now, along that lines, also, if you play the Snowfall Guardian, you can also do things like uh, tricky little things like but the Swift Scale Trickster. So let's go Scale Trickster into a smoke screen, which makes it now free, and then you have potential of drawing either your mines or you have a potential of drawing your, your Burning Blade Acolytes and then triggering twice if you have the Snowfall Guardian Graveyard. So, okay, so that in mind. But this deck, why am I saying that if I'm mentioning the, snow, the Burning Blade Acolyte, but I'm not mentioning the actual win con? And, and that is like a, a subsequent win con in case you don't actually get the damage in there, especially now with, with, with the Prince in play. Uh, I've had a lot of people playing with 40 life, uh, so you need a little extra oomph. But the deck is based actually around this card, Naval Mine. So Naval Mine, essentially, when it dies, it does 4 damage to your enemy hero. Okay, so that's just 2 cards. It's 8 damage. Panda, tell me more. Well, anyways, so you play the Forsaken Lieutenant into the Naval Mine, and then it basically turns into a Naval Mine, and you can immediately trade it in, uh, because it basically becomes a copy of the, of a de the next Death Rattle minion you play, and is a 2-2 with, with Rush. So you trade it into something, and you basically have, have the impact again. Again, still very nice if you have the Snowfall guard, Graveyard out. So you, sometimes I really I have to say it's better just to chill until you get the Snowfall Graveyard in play, and then go off. But make sure if you have the Snowfall Graveyard, make sure you have something subsequently to play on the turn following. Or on the same turn. Either way, it's fantastic. Again, so you also have the Shatter Shambler. Shatter Shambler, again, you play the Shatter Shambler with the Naval Mind. It costs one mana. It immediately triggers. But again, if you have the Snowfall Graveyard out, it triggers for eight. You have, on top of that, you've got the uh, bah, 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 the Counterfeit Blade. So now the Counterfeit Blade, one of the normal things, with the advantage of not running the Burning Blade Acolyte, is the fact that it's going to trigger off the Mine. That's it. That's the only Death Rattle. But honestly, having a 5-8 Taunt is not a bad thing either. Uh, that's very hard to deal with. It gives you a nice big body to, 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 to send face. Uh, and then, of course, if all of that fails, if you don't get enough damage from all of those cards, then you also still have the Wicked Stab. Wicked Stab is still disgusting. It's two damage base at the beginning of the game. Turn five becomes four damage. And at turn 10, it's six damage. That's a lot of damage. So this deck always has damage that can come out of nowhere. 
Now, for mulligans, something to consider since you're basically smorking. Uh, the extortion's not horrendous on on the op on the on the very on your on your mulligan because you can play it turn one, do three damage to face, or you can trade it if you need to. But three damage face initially is not bad. You won't be able to play it face any other time because the minion has or the, the character has to be undamaged. But that works really well. Another card, Gone Fishing, is very nice to have in your opening cards, opening hand. Um, you can just use it just for the dredge, even if you don't have another card to play with it, combo it. Now, if you can combo it, of course, that's the ideal situation, but just dredging to make sure that you get the Snowfall Graveyard in your hand, because that's kind of what you're fishing for. You want the Snowfall Graveyards, Naval Mines, that's your play. Okay, but you also have another good card to keep in your opening is the Blackwater Cutlass. Okay, do not ever keep more than one Blackwater Cutlass, obviously. And all you're going to do is you only want to keep the Blackwater Cutlass if you have another spell in your hand as well in your opening mulligan. And they like, like say, Gone Fishing. But then you just trade the Blackwater Cutlass turn one. It reduces the cost of it. goes back to the library. You get a new card. It, it's all hunky-dory. So again, I am not sure I like this deck in the sense that I don't think it's very good for the meta. Uh, it reminds me too much of Poison Rogue. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. It, it's it's fun. It is fun to play. It's fun when it goes off. When it fails, it sucks. Uh, if they get just if you just don't draw, and honestly, it's it has less to do with what your opponent does, in my opinion, than just how you draw. So again, you need that snowfall graveyard. If you can get snowfall graveyard, I'm I'm not even 100 sure, but this may be you just mulligan just for that card. Uh, I would definitely check out HS Replay, look for for some more mulligan stats. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, you're not going to... I could not find ones running the Burning Blade Acolyte, but for everything I saw at the top 200 Legend, this card actually makes a huge bit of difference, and it does protect you. Now, you've got to keep in mind, though, you do want to make sure that you have more Mabel Mine stacks in your, your pool than you do Burning Blade, unless, unless of course, you're just dealing with something like... Uh, I guess I guess you're playing against Aggro Demon Hunter. Uh, Burning Blade would actually be quite advantageous because a bunch of five eight taunts is probably gonna be hard for them to deal with overall. Not impossible, but hard. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, the deck, the code will be below in the description. Uh, while you're there, please hit us with a subscribe. It's absolutely free for you, and it's out, and it totally helps us out a ton. Also, if you like the video, hit like. We like to see that. And if there's any comments you want to put in there, if you want to see me play a different deck uh, for any of my YouTube content, if there's a any kind of streamer out there that you think that I should be covering under uh, my Panda Pal segment, please let me know. Or if there's just something you want to see changed in our in our our any of our YouTube content, please just put us there. We do read those. We actually appreciate it. We may not take it into heart. Because you may not agree, but we do read it and we do really appreciate any kind of criticism, any kind of constructive criticism. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Remember to stay positive and good luck on ladder. Have a good one.